Hi guys, in the previous video, we learned different types of cases that we encounter while doing deletion in red black trees. And we learned each and every case with the help of different examples. So I request you to go and watch that video if you have not watched it until now and then come back to this video. In this video, I have chosen to solve this example where we will actually encounter almost all of these cases somewhere in between while we will be solving this example. So if you have not watched the previous video, I request you to go and watch that video where I have explained each and every case in detail. Okay? So uh, in the previous video, we saw that there were two steps which we need to follow. First of all, we need to choose the node that has to be deleted like how we do in a binary search tree. In the second step, we actually look at the condition uh, like which condition is uh, being fulfilled right now. So this in red, everywhere in red, that is the conditions, right? So whichever condition is fulfilled, accordingly we follow the corresponding steps in order to counter the imbalance, right? So that is what we learned. So now let us start this example. The first node that has to be deleted is 50, okay? So first of all, every time we search for the element that has to be deleted in a binary search tree, 50 is greater than 40, 50 is less than 60, so we come to the left. Okay, we found 50. So now we have to delete 50, okay? So as you know, 50 is a leaf node, so it will be having these external nodes as its children, right? So this 50 will be replaced by one of its external node that will actually make this black node 50 double black, okay? I have explained this in the previous video, fine? So this will get a double black node. And now we will look at this to find out that this falls in which case? Case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6, okay? So the sibling of this double black node that is 80 is red. So it falls in which case? Uh, sibling is black, double black sibling is red. It falls in case 4, okay? So now what we need to do in case 4, what are the steps we need to follow? Uh, we actually swap the colors of double black's parent and double black sibling. So the uh, double black's parent is 60 and the double black sibling is 80. So their colors will interchange. Okay. So this 60 or the parent will become red while the sibling will change from red to black. Okay. What is the next step? Rotate parent in double black's direction. So th this left side is the double black's direction in this case. Okay. So uh, this parent will be rotated in this direction. 60 will be rotated in this direction. So let me draw it after rotating the parent in that direction. So this is what we get after rotating the parent or 60 in the direction of double black. So what we need to do next, we actually have to reapply a suitable case. We are looking at case four, right? Why we need to reapply a suitable case? Because we the double black is still existing in the red black tree. Our final aim is to actually remove this double black, right? So it is still existing. So which case is this? Basically, this is our double black. This is the sibling of double black. And these external nodes, because 70 is a leaf node, are the nephews of double black, right? So this is basically a case where the sibling of double black is black and both its nephews are black. So it is case three. So what we have to do in case 3, in the case three, uh, 3, in case 3, we actually first remove double black, right? We remove double black, then we make sibling red. So sibling was 70, we make it red. And we add black to parent, right? So our parent was originally red, 60 is originally red. So we make parent black, okay? So this parent will become black. As we no more have the double black node, 50 is finally deleted from our red black tree. Okay. So now let us delete the second element that is 20. Okay. So where is 20? 20 is over here. So we can't directly delete 20 because it is an internal node property of binary search tree and red black tree is also a binary search tree. So basically 20 will be replaced by either its in order predecessor or its in order successor. Let's replace it with its in order successor 
that is 30. Okay, so now rather than deleting this node, we will actually delete the in order successor, this node, right? Uh, so again, this 30 will be replaced by its child, which is an external node and it is black. So that will make this black node 30, double black, okay? So now we want to remove this double black. So which case does this fall into? What is the sibling of this uh, double black node? Is it 60 or 10? It is 10, right? And this 10 has these external nodes as well. Okay, so now in, this is the case where the sibling is also black and both the nephews are also black, right? So this is again case 3, double black sibling is black and both its nephews are black. So what we have to do? We remove double black. We make the sibling red. So the sibling 10, it becomes from black to red. And what about the parent? We add black to the parent. But is the parent originally red? No, it is black. So in the else case, what we do? We make parent double black. Because earlier it was black, we are adding a black to the parent. So this is making the parent double black. Now again, we have faced a problem because we don't want any double black. So this will act as the new node now, which, which, uh, so because we need to remove this double black, right? So basically now this is the node that we need to target. We need to remove this double black. We don't have to delete 30. We have to remove this outer line, this double black, right? We want to make it single black. What is the sibling of this double black 30? It is 80. Is it black? Yes. And both its nephews are also black. 60 and 90 are also black. So again, we are actually talking about case 3 over here, where the sibling is also black of uh, double black and both its nephews are also black. So what we do over here, we remove the double black. We don't delete the node, okay? We are just removing the double black. 30 is as it is. And we make the sibling red. So 80 was the sibling of double black. It became red. So what happened over here? So 80 was the sibling of double black. It became red. And what about the parent of double black? We add black to it. And because it was originally not red, so we make the parent double black, right? So basically what happened over here, there was a double black at a bottom level. It got percolated to an upper level and we finally had a double black on this 30. Now this double black has actually percolated on another top level, which is 40. So again, we have, we are facing a problem. We need to re remove this double black. So how we'll remove this? So does this fall into one of the cases? So what is the color of the sibling of 40? Oh. 40 doesn't have any sibling. The root of a red black tree or any tree never has a sibling. So which case does this fall into? If the node to be deleted is red, just delete it and exit. No, it is black. If the double black is root, remove double black. Yes. Here we are talking about case 2. So what we have to do? We have to just simply remove double black. Okay. This will not violate the policy that the black height should be same because all the black heights are actually starting from this place itself. Right. So finally, we have actually deleted 20 and 50. Now, the next element to be deleted is 100. Okay. So now, so now let us uh, uh, delete 100. So because 100 is a leaf node and 100 is also a red node, we can simply delete it by following case 1. If the node to be deleted is red, just delete it. So we just delete it and exit. So now, 100 is also deleted. Now let's delete 90. So now we have to delete 90. Okay. So 90 will become double black because it will be replaced by its child, which will be an external node. Okay. So the 90 sibling is 60. That is black. And it's far nephew. This is the far nephew of 90 or the child of 60. And it will be an external node. Right. So this is black. And it's near nephew. The nephew that is closer to the double black is red. So which case does, it, does this fall into? If double black sibling is red. No, double black sibling is black. If double black sibling is black, far nephew is black. Yes, the far nephew over here, it is black. And near nephew is red. Yes, the near nephew is red. So here we are talking about case 5. So what do we do in case 5? So first of all, we swap the colors of the double black sibling, which is 60 and double black's near nephew, that is 70. Okay, so this will be red, 
while this will become black. Okay, so we have swapped these colors. What is the next step? We basically rotate the double black sibling. So we have to rotate 60 in the opposite direction of double black. So we basically have to rotate the 60 in the opposite direction of this double black. Double black is on this side, so we ro rotate it on this side. So let us rotate it. So this is what we get once we rotate 60 or the double black sibling in the opposite direction, right? We were doing case 5, we rotated the double black sibling in the opposite direction of double black and next we have to apply case 6. So every time we apply case 5, I've told it earlier, such a situation will arise that we have to apply case 6. As if you have a look over here, even if you don't apply case 6, uh, what will happen? So basically this is my double black, its sibling is black and the far nephew is red. So what does case 6 say? If double black sibling is black and far nephew is red, the same thing is uh, happening over here. So we automatically have to apply case 6, not just because it is written over here, right? So now, what are the steps we need to follow in case 6? So first of all, we swap the colors of double black parent and double black sibling. So double black parent is 80 and double black sibling is 70. So we swap their colors. So 70 becomes red. Okay, and 80 becomes black. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, we are having two consecutive red nodes. This is violating the property of red black tree. But just look at the next step or the uh, or one step ahead that you have to change the color of red nephew to black. It is not necessary that you follow these steps in order. You can follow them in any way. So we first of all change the color of the red nephew to black okay so we change this color fine and what else is left to do we have to rotate the double blacks parent in double blacks direction so this is the double blacks parent 80 we rotate it in double blacks direction so i'll finally write it down so now after rotation this is what we get this is the red black tree that we get and what is the next step we need to follow we remove double black so let us remove this double black okay so finally, now we have deleted 90 also. Now the next element to be deleted is 40. But as you know, it cannot be directly deleted because it is an, an internal node. So it will be replaced by its in-order successor or even it can be predecessor that is 60, right? So now the delete operation will be recursively applied on this in-order successor, right? And what will happen? That this 60 will get replaced by one of its external nodes and will it will become a double black node. Am I right? Okay. So now which case does this fall into? The sibling of the double black node 80 is black and both the nephews are external node and external node are always black in red black trees. So the sibling is also black. Both the nephews are also black. So this is case 3. Right. So what we need to do in case 3? We simply remove the double black node. We make the sibling red. Okay, the sibling becomes red and the parent of the double black node, on that we add black color. So this is not this case, it is the if case. The parent was originally red. We added black, so it became black. So deleted. Now the next element to be deleted is basically 60. Okay, so if you want to delete 60, again we cannot delete it uh, directly. We have to replace it we have to replace 60 by either its in-order successor or predecessor, right? So I replace 60 with its in-order predecessor, that is 30, so this becomes 30, right? And now the delete operation is recursively applied on the in-order predecessor, that is 30. But again, 30 is an internal node, you cannot delete it, so 30 will also be replaced by its in-order successor. So the in-order successor of 30 is 10. Right. So 30 will be replaced by 10. Look, the color is not being transferred. Just the value of uh, the in order predecessor is being transferred and the color remains black itself. Right. So now the element to be deleted is basically now the element to be deleted is 10. So how we will delete 10? So, de so as 10 is a red node, so it falls in case 1. Right? Because if the node to be deleted is red, just delete it and exit. So we delete this node. So we are left with this. 
So we actually also deleted 60. So the next element to be deleted is 30. Fine. So 30 cannot be deleted as it is. So 30 has to be replaced by either its in order successor or predecessor. So let me replace it with its in order successor. Okay. So this will be 70. And now I have to delete 70. So let me replace it with its child 80. Okay. So this will become 80. The color will not get transferred. Only the value of the in order successor of the child will get transferred. Right. So now the element to be deleted is basically this 80, right? There are two copies of 80 and this in order, this uh, and the delete operation will be actually recursively applied on this leaf node 80. So can I directly delete 80 because it is red node? Yes, I can according to case one. So I delete this 80. So now we have also deleted 30, okay? So now the next element to be deleted is 10. So uh, this 10 will be will become a double black node. So now when I look at the sibling of this double black, it is 80 and it is black and both its nephews are also black, right? They are external nodes. So which case does this fall into? It falls in case three. So what do we do in case three? We simply remove the double black. We make the sibling red. So this 80 becomes red. And what else we do? We add black to parent. So this this was the parent of this seven. So this 70 was the parent of my double black node. So we add another black to it. So that it becomes double black. Now we are facing a problem over here that we have another double black, but this is the root of the red black tree. So this according to case two, we can simply remove the double black. So we simply remove so we simply remove the double black. Okay. Now the next element to be deleted is 70. So we have to delete this element. So we cannot directly delete this element because it is an internal node, right? So it gets replaced by its child. So this node becomes 80 and we have to delete the child now, right? So uh, can we directly delete the child? Yes, we can because it is a red node and we know according to case one that if the node to be deleted is red, just delete it and exit. So we deleted this node. Okay. So if the node to be deleted is an internal node, we replace it with its in order successor or predecessor and then we recursively apply the delete operation on that particular in order predecessor or the successor, whichever node we have used to replace the node that had to be deleted, right? So now we are left with the last node 80. So uh, now basically th this is the red black tree we have. This one node and two external nodes that, that are its children. So this one external node will replace 80 and it will make it from black to double black. Okay. So this will be left. So this double black node that is the only node in the red black tree. It is also the root of the tree. And what do we do with the root of the tree? If the double black is root, remove double black. So the double black will be removed. And we have deleted all the elements from the red black tree. I hope you have clearly understood how to do deletion in red black trees. I would suggest you to practice such type of examples. As we have completed many topics in red black trees, like properties of red black trees, and we compared red black trees with AVL trees, we proved that why red black tree should always be a balanced binary search tree. We saw the applications of red black trees and then we learned the types of imbalances that occur in red black trees. We learned insertion in red black trees and then finally now we have completed deletion in red black trees. So after all this, I expect you to answer one question of mine related to red black trees. I want you to write it down in the comments. Why always are red nodes either leaf nodes or nodes having two children. Why we don't find red nodes having just one child? Uh, and also let me know if you like this video. Please share this video as much as possible. Meet you in the next video where we will start learning a new advanced data structure.